love it or hate it I don't care I got a couple hundred responses between my whatsapp Instagram Facebook and my text message so let's go over some basics got a boiler here let's assume the supply is on the top returns on the bottom back into the boiler out of the boiler coming out this way bowl valve drain valve for a common purge air vent expansion tank circulator pump water feed into the boiler system over here four zones one two three four zone valves <clears throat> we got the returns right over here one two three four back into the boiler okay this is how a typical standard boiler goes many other ways you could do this, this is the way we're showing it for the illustration because this is the way it was piped at that home client runs into an issue client has an issue crawl space is going to freeze a couple options you can do glycol in the system which is an antifreeze customer did not and was not able to do that so we up them we've got let's say four radiators on the line circulator pumping to the left circulator pumps here catches the first radiator second radiator third radiator fourth radiator and then back to the boiler bowl valve common purge so now you can purge that what we did was over here took a zone valve instead of looping it out to one of the baseboard zones connect it to a closely spaced tease and cause an injection here's the return back to the boiler you can put a globe valve over here a bowl valve or anything you'd like and this is coming from the boiler from the manifold so you've got one zone valve two zone valve three zone valve four zone valves let's say one for each zone this goes out to one loop another loop another loop and then this gun goes to inject over here so now what you guys are thinking is Okay, moving water doesn't freeze, I got it. This is gonna run any single time the boiler runs, and that is the true. Anytime the boiler is powered, this is gonna use 0.7 of an amp. Don't cry to me about the electric usage and the pump's gonna die. It'll last 15 to 20 years, and if it dies sooner, it's a cost of doing business. So, you guys are thinking radiators give off heat, right? Well, let me tell you a thing. Nope. They don't just give off heat. Radiators accept heat. Any time that this space is at 70 degrees where the radiators are and the crawl space is at a freezing temperature, not just as this moving water, but this is 65 degree moving water because the space is 70 degrees, 70 Fahrenheit, and that is putting heat onto this radiator, which is picking up that 70 degrees Fahrenheit from the room. This guy's 70 degrees Fahrenheit. This guy's 68 degrees Fahrenheit. This guy's 72 degrees Fahrenheit. All these temperatures are getting pushed back into the water, going back here and keeping this loop from freezing every single season. So simple, no controls to break, everything's good to go.